Spoofs, 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 spoofs. Pressures from both sides, the top and the bottom. But now it's autumn, and if I try, if I try. I know I can change it. Yeah, I can change it. I can change this misleading dialogue. How long have you been? My name was Jane. I met her in a dark My room name was full Jane. of other people. I met her in a dark room full of other people. I could barely hear her with how loud the music was. I could barely hear her with how loud the music was. was. She was attractive. I was lonely. We went she back was to attractive. Her we went back to her apartment.
apartment was empty. There wasn't any furniture. Just her apartment was empty. There wasn't any floor. furniture. Just a mattress on the floor. The only other thing in the room was a crucifix. The only other thing in the room was a crucifix hanging on the wall, right above the bed. Sunny day. I was walking across the field when I came upon an old scarf that carried two pieces of coal lying in the grass. How'd they get there? This actually happened? It's a riddle. It doesn't matter if it happened or not. Children brought them there to make a snowman. He melted in the sun. What are you looking for, Hayden? Why are we here? I'm not sure I'm conscious of that yet. I thought you were going to tell me once we've dug enough. I feel like the most natural way to think about consciousness is probably something like this. The mind feels like a private theater. Here I am inside that theater, located roughly somewhere inside my head, looking out through my eyes. But this is a multi-sensational theater, so I experience touches, smells, sounds, and emotions as well. I can use my imagination too, conjuring up sights and sounds to be seen as though on a mental screen by my inner eye, or heard by my inner ear. And all of these are just the contents of my consciousness. And I am the audience of one who experiences it. I think it can be a little less literal than that. Maybe consciousness flows like a river or a stream. It, life, is a never-ending stream of sights, smells, sounds, thoughts, touches, emotions, worries and joys. All of which happen one after another. Though I can't help but feel that the stream is dried up or maybe not dried up maybe there's a tree blocking its path diverting the tree falls do all of its leaves fall too another riddle just a question maybe I heard it so long I just feel like I'm somewhere inside my head looking out that I experience the outside world from my eyes and ears Imagine things in my mind's eye. Break my arm to lift this shovel in the air and force it back into the ground again. Most there must be some space in the brain or mind in which dualism. space and time so come together and do this thinking in the form of dense Cartesian consciousness theory. happens. We're getting closer. Stop moving from the path. When he died, my parents didn't tell me much. Thought I was too young to understand, but I did. He was, <laughs> it was hard. He uh, kept feeling like I had to take up his space, you know, fill the void that he left. He was the best of us. He had virtue, something I think I lack. My father told me about an essay that he wrote back when he was in school out west and before he got sick. It was about indentured servitude in the colonies in America. One of his professors spoke to my father after the uh, service they held. Uh, he said it was well written, but more importantly, it was telling of his character, of who he was. He cared about people, the plight struggle. He cared. My father then told me about the girlfriend 
I had heard a whisper of her here and there. She had her own troubles, and he was too kind. He took on her worries and gave no notice to his own. She was older than I expected when I found her. You look like someone I used to know. Wish I had tried harder to remember. Every summer when I was a child, my mother and I, we would drive up to my grandmother's house in Maine. It was way up there on the coast, a good seven hours in the car. She had this CD with all her favorite songs on it. There was this one song on there I loved. I can remember the melody, and I can hear it in my head, but I can't remember the words at all. I never thought I should remember this, because it was just life. And it was happening to me, and everything was great, and we laughed, and I was genuinely happy. It's the problem, I guess. When you don't know what it is you're looking for, it's pretty difficult to find. But you know what it is, you'll get it eventually. You have his eyes. So blue and delicate. They shatter into a thousand pieces of only a weapon. In my mind, she was still the duplicitous young student, the villain I had been looking for. But she wasn't that at all. She was just like me, bitter, empty, searching for something. I still wanted to confront her, but I lacked the constitution. At the same time, I realized she didn't know anything at all. She was just as lost as I was. We shared the same pain. On a sunny day, I was walking across a field when I came across an old scarf, a carrot, and two pieces of coal lying in the grass. How'd they get there? It's a fabrication of your imagination. The carrot, you're hungry. The coal and scarf, you're cold. The invisible snowman, the manifestation of your thirst. What are we doing out here? What are we searching for? Come on. You know by now. My brother. Your brother that committed suicide. That part is very important. Don't let that flow downstream. Consciousness, the river of thought. But what are you trying to say? He drowned himself, no? Then he put rocks in his pockets, walked into the river. A maintenance worker found his corpse. You were eight years old. Look, I don't remember telling you any of this. You didn't have to. What are we looking for? What's at the end of this? Keep digging, you'll find it. Well, watch me now, the summer's in my blood. And I don't know just how it feels. Just keep about digging, it. you're so close. And we made it through another winter, but we can't fight this war forever. We can't push them. Cause they keep coming back for more They're knocking at the door And we can't stay But we can't go But I can breathe and I can see And I can live forever And I still got two more wishes on me So I'm asking how could this happen to me? Oh how could this happen to me? Them up for us so long, but what be
How could this happen to me? How could this happen to me? Oh, how could this happen to me? Oh, how could this happen to me?